In this video, we'll discuss the different options for the um, dock panel display method uh, property. So you can see that we have a UX component with a, a panel layout that has uh, three panel cards, but the first panel card, which has a list in it, uh, has been set to collapse before. So that means that this panel card is going to be um, hidden when the uh, UX component is displayed. So if I display the UX component, I can just see panel 2 and panel 3 because the first panel uh, has been uh, docked. This panel has uh, been given a size of 200 pixels and its dock state has been set to collapse before. So that means it's always collapsed and since our flow is left to right, that means it's uh, collapsed to on the left-hand side of the layout. So then we've also put a button in the panel header and we've said that this um, uh, panel layout has uh, controller buttons. So this means that uh, button number one, when pressed, will reveal panel card number one. And the way in which panel card one gets revealed is controlled by the uh, docked panel display method. So let's start out with um, over and see um, the, uh, how that uh, uh, reveals uh, panel card 1. So we go here now, panel card 1 is hidden, uh, panel card 2 and panel card 3 are visible. I press the button which is going to reveal panel card 1 and you can see that panel card 1 uh, slides in on top of the existing visible panels. So this is the option called over. So when it slides in on top, panel card 2 and panel card 3, the, the currently visible panels don't appear to move and panel card 1 appears to be on top of uh, panel card 2 and panel card 3. So now let's go to the uh, slide option and uh, see how that behaves. So now we go here and press the button to reveal panel card number one. And you can see that basically what's happening when we choose the uh, slide option is that, um, that panel card one uh, does not appear to be moving. And panel card two and panel card three, uh, which are on top of uh, panel card one conceptually, appear to be sliding off to the right to reveal panel card one. So think of panel card one as being beneath uh, panel card two and panel card three and then think of panel card two and panel card three, the currently visible panels, sliding to the right to reveal the, um, the panel underneath it. So let's do that again and you can see that as panel card one gets revealed it, it doesn't appear to be moving. What appears to be moving is uh, panel card 2 and panel card 3. So that's the slide option. And then finally the uh, push option. Uh, uh, the way that this uh, operates is that you can think of uh, conceptually panel card 1 being uh, off to the side, to the left of the, uh, the viewport. And it uh, coming into view by pushing panel card uh, two and three off to the right. So conceptually you can think of them all being at the same level. Ne neither of them is on top of the other. So let's go back here now and press the button and you can see that um, that as panel card one comes into view it starts pushing panel card two and panel card three off the screen. So we can see it happening over there. Uh, you can see that basically they all appear to be moving in unison and none of the panels appear to be either above or below the other uh, conceptually. So the uh, difference between um, over and push and slide is, is uh, fairly obvious, whereas the difference between slide and push is quite subtle uh, and depending on your particular use case, uh, you might prefer one method over the other. Thanks very much for watching.